Gaffer, before we talk about the important business at the weekend, what's just been and gone? Is that now dealt with, done and dusted? Yeah, to the uh, to the maximum. Everything that I could do that uh, within the football league sanctions regarding discipline for the players uh, has been done. So that's uh, that's been maximised uh, professionally, internally. There's been th th things that have happened that uh, a slight bit of segregation, which shows shows basically that. Uh, unacceptable, unprofessional behaviour is, is not accepted, not not just by myself, but uh, as a collective. And I think that's the pleasing thing. Everything that I did uh, was done in front in front of the all the pro all the professionals at the football club, so that everybody was aware of um, of the information that I'd been given of what had happened uh, and how I deemed it to be unacceptable. But also then what I did, if, rather than me just uh, tell the tell the players what the punishment was going to be. Uh, I made them aware of what I could and couldn't do and what I thought was fitting. Uh, and the pleasing thing is the majority of the players uh, agreed with the sanctions. Uh, and But very quickly, um, that's one side of the fence. The other side is, it's been dealt with, now we've got to move on. Uh, players have made mistakes, error of judgments, uh, silly mistakes. There's, a, there's, a, there's slight things within it that still disappoint me. Um, probably... Because I know if somebody if somebody sneezes uh, in Carlisle, somebody somebody else gives them a uh, gives them a hanky. I want to know. Well, I'm disappointed that I didn't find out until uh, when I did that the players have been out. That disappoints me. Finding out that the um, local media uh, employees at the football club were out and about and aware of it, and I still didn't know until uh, when I did, which I, which I think is wrong. Uh, so, do I need to try and create uh, a player watch in Carlisle? Yes. Do I want everybody that sit? If anybody sees uh, one of our players uh, parking illegally, not helping an old lady across the road, uh, dropping litter, I want to know about it because it's unacceptable. This football club does a lot of work in the community, spreading the good name of this football club, and it's been it's been tarnished. Uh, and we need to rebuild um, the relationship that the players, that some of the players, have got with the fans because they're upset and, and rightly so. Is there an understanding of that from the players when you confronted them? Could you see in their eyes that they knew they'd done something wrong? Or was it more just a case of them having been caught? No, uh, no. I think the, um, there's, there's lots of people make sacrifices over, uh, over the Christmas period. Uh, being a footballer, do I call that being a sacrifice, uh, being asked to be professional? No. Sometimes that gets used. Um, you can listen to the media and say like, the sacrifices the players are making. Well, you're being asked to be professional. People that are like doctors and nurses that are on call, they're people that are making sacrifices. Um, um, being at, being asked to be prepared professionally uh, and conduct yourself in a, in a manner that is uh, suitable um, for you to go out and perform to the best of your ability, that's not a hardship uh, and it can't be seen as one. Um, slightly tight on that, I've had a, some apology letters from the players um, that's, I think it's important that the message gets passed on that they are sincerely sorry for, for the errors uh, that they've made, not only for myself, the coaching staff, uh, the staff of the football club, uh, their fellow professionals, but most importantly they've all identified in the apology letters as well the, the, that they've let the supporters down, um, probably the like second biggest home crowd uh, after two fantastic results against Northampton uh, and Morecambe. Um, we wanted to put on a spectacle, we wanted to put on a show, we knew it was a festive period. Um, the last thing we wanted was to walk away from that. Probably me standing up after the game and make, uh, giving excuses for why I thought the players were flat and then finding out there was a different reason. Um, that disappoints me. Uh, another thing that I've got to touch on, a disappointing thing is that other players that knew that some of those players were going out and they didn't stop them. Now, now that, show, that shows... Um, what a fragile changing room we've got, uh, fr what a change, fragile changing room that we've got. That we're not strong as a unit yet, and we need to build on that. Because if somebody is stepping out of line, they need to get brought back in the line. If people are making bad decisions, we can't just allow them to make bad decisions. They need to get brought back in the line by ourselves, by each other, by the changing room. That's what we need to do. That's why we need to be a collective unit. Yeah, people have made mistakes, and now we need to move on very quickly. But it's just one other thing to touch on. Um, that probably shows the, the naivety of some of the players when, on one of the apology letters um, that he spelt my name wrong <laughs> you can't tell it like, wasn't done on purpose <laughs> genuine, uh, genuine mistake but if you're giving a letter of apology to someone have the decency to spell their name right <laughs>